This particular person commented to me a while ago, perhaps ah, two days ago or so. This person was saying to me, hey, I am having problems with demons. How can I get rid of the demons? And I know that some other people may want to know the answer to this as well. And from what he was writing me, I could see that he was looking for a quick fix. And I was thinking, and what I said to him, no, there is no quick fix. So pretty much to make this easier to understand, like he was looking for like something that he can do or something that he can say to get rid of the demons that he was having trouble with. No, there is no quick fix. Because if you are being heavily influenced by demons, that is showing you that a lot more than having problems with demons is wrong with you. If you are being heavily influenced by demons, you have many more problems. Many more. Way more. So, trying to find a quick fix is not going to work for you or work for anyone. You have to change your entire life. You can't continue to have sex before marriage or continue to curse people out or continue to do all of these disobedient things disobeying God's rules and regulations you can't do all of these things and believe that everything is going to be okay does that make any sense so the demons come <clears throat> when you choose to disobey God so a quick fix as in saying some words or doing a few actions is not going to work. What is going to work is you changing your life, you getting out of sin. Does that make any sense? And I could kind of see that that person was trying or he was a tad bit frustrated with me because I would not give him a quick answer or like a quick fix. And I continued to tell this person, there are no quick fixes, none. If there was a quick fix and I can continue on doing my past sins, I would have took it back then. But I found out in order to find peace, in order to get my life straight, I had to change my life. Otherwise, my life would stay chaotic. Does that make any sense? So if you have problems with demons, and I may post exactly what to do in the comment section, but the best thing to do is turn your life completely over to God. That is the only way. You can't live the way that you want to and believe that, hey, God is not going to trip over this or he is not going to get angry about what I am doing. And let me say this too. Some people may believe that they are good people meaning that like hey i don't do many or any of the major sins yes i may sin but or they may not even consider it sin well you know i go to work i pay my taxes 
you know, I give to people. Yes, you know, I don't repent of my sins. Yes, I still curse. Yes, I still cheat. Yes, I do bad things, but I don't do anything major. So since I don't do anything major, that means that I am a good person. No, you're not. God cares about the tiny things. I mean, God cares about the major things as much as the tiny things. Does that make any sense? So even if what you are doing, even if it seems small to you, it is still large to God. It really does not take much for you to disobey the rules and regulations of God. Because when you curse a person out or say some curse words to a person, now that doesn't seem like a big deal, right? Hey, they are just words and you may do this every so often. <laughs> that is a sin. As small as that seem, that is a sin. Cursing a person out or using foul language toward a person, that is a sin. Another example, telling dirty jokes, doing it every so often. That may not seem like a harmless thing, but in truth, it is. Watching a little bit of porn, that may not seem like a big deal, but it is. Look, we can't lean to our own understanding. We have to do what God wants us to do, not what we think that we should do and what is right or not. We have to go by the Bible, not our own understanding. Things may make earthly sense, but the earthly sense is going to send you to hell. That's why we have to read the Bible and understand what God wants us to do other than logically thinking like, hey, you know, it makes sense to me to do this and that, but that logical sense will get you into trouble. So you have to renew your mind. You you have to change your way of thinking and go by the way that God wants us to think. So yes, you may be a smart person. You may have made great grades in high school, college, or other organizations. Yes. But that means nothing if you don't go by the rules and regulations of God. Yes, you may be smart by the earth standards, but when it comes down to God, that is what matters the most. So even if you are not that smart now, and you are following the rules and regulations of God, you are seen, let me not say that, <laughs> so I pray that makes sense. Your earthly understanding means nothing. It is all for naught if you don't follow God's rules and regulations. Follow the Bible. Read the Bible. Because how are you going to understand what God wants us to do if you don't read the Bible? I know that it may be boring. <laughs> Even for myself, I don't like to read it all the time myself, but I know when I read it, I get more understanding. And my life changes as well. So really take heed to this. If you are having problems with demons, there is no quick fix. If you are having any type of problem in your life and you are in sin, there is no quick fix. 
you have to completely change your life. Like you can't do this one step or two step thing and believe that your problems with demons is going to be over when you do that certain thing. It does not work that way. So sometimes, well, let me stop there. God bless.